everyone welcome to my craft room and thank you for joining me today as some of you will know i've been away for a week and went to visit family and it's lovely to be back in my craft room today and um, picked up a few things while i was away so i just thought i'd come on and show you what i bought first shop i went into uh, in the local town was the works and i just picked up this 12 by 12 floral paper pad and it was reduced to one pound fifty i'll just give you a quick flip through it's got some lovely papers in really up my street these will be lovely for going into my junk journal really beautiful papers and for card making as well i was really may love that really could fussy cut all these flowers yeah so that's the first one that was one pound fifty i also picked up these sort of border stamps as well in the works they were a pound i placed a few orders as well while i was away it's birthday on Monday the 10th, I've got a big birthday coming up, so I was given some early birthday money. So while I was away, I ordered some bits. Some of them have been delivered. I did another Sizzix haul, they had another 80% sale. So as soon as my dies arrive from there, I'll share those with you as well, because the sale is still on. I ordered this Distress Oxide Victorian Velvet to add to my collection. I didn't have that one. And I also did a order with Clearly Besotted. Love, love their stamps. These were from the clearance section. They were £2.48 pence each. So the first ones I got, this one's called Build It Beaver. And as you can see, it's just these cute little beaver images. I just thought they'd be nice to make some cards with. Um, and the children will love playing with those as well. So that's the first one. The second one I got, Birds of a Feather. So you can see there, it's just the little birds. And you get a couple of sentiments. And like I said, they were all £2.48 each. I picked up this background stamp which would be nice for some mixed media backgrounds I love this one as well this one's called cheeky monkey and it's just these little monkeys and then you've got a tree and a couple of sentiments and then finally another one which is called super pug and it's just these little pug dogs with the superhero costumes on and some nice little sentiments so they were from Clibbizotted then I went into home bargains while I was away. Just some basic things I picked up. I picked up two of these glue sticks. I picked up some index cards. I couldn't tell you the prices of everything. I know that these two Sharpies were 49 pence. I've got a metallic silver fine nib and a metallic gold. That's fine nib. They were 49 pence each. I picked up these pilot permanent markers. These are fine nibs as well. I thought for going rounds you know highlighting on my mixed media and cards and whatnot i think they were one pound 49 if i remember rightly and then just a little notebook just needed a new notebook that was 99 pence so they were from home bargains then i went into just sort of a discount store that was in the local town and just bits that i wanted for my journaling my junk journaling got some of these little brown envelopes the same with these c6 envelopes again there to go in my journal got some of this cotton twine for binding some of my journals together i've got some of these tags here you just get four different colors and i think you get five of each tags i think they were 50 pence for those so i picked those up yeah, i've been spoilt for the week i've had a lovely week with family apart from having a tummy bug for two days which really was very nasty but it was lovely to see all my family and glad to be back home now with back into my craft room today i'm hoping to get stuck into some videos and get uploading so i bought these embroidery threads these were 50 pence i got these oh these were from home bargain these um two-piece stencil set got that one there yeah. and then the lower case at the back yeah they were 99 pence and then i got some of this double-sided mounting tape this was from the discount store i've no idea what it'll be like but i thought i'd try it for a pound so i got that and then i just got some packets of watercolour card two packets of watercolour card acid free 300 gsm you get eight sheets for a pound so i thought i'd try those out and whilst i was there i went into the range and i picked up a few little bits from there i got some of these butterfly embellishments as you know i love my butterflies so i got four packs they're all the same butterflies but they're just different shades this is sort of a blue and lilac then we've got the two-tone pink ones then this nice tealy colour and then again some lighter pink ones and they were a pound each for those. I got this secret garden stamp set, it's got the little bird, the watering can, the flower and a little sentiment. That one was 99 pence. 
I just picked up some of these little craft gift bags. These are to go in my junk journal. They were £1.50, I think. I got some of these luggage tags, the buff coloured. Again, these are for my junk journaling and they were a pound. I got some more of these silver gems because I was running low on these ones. So they were a pound. I got this clear stamp set, which was a pound, just nautical themed. Quite like anything nautical. So I got that one. And then I picked up this creative paper collection, craft sensations. Thought this would be really lovely for my creative journaling. And at the beginning you get papers, I won't take them out, but they're not very thick, they are only paper, but they'll be okay for in my journal. You get some more papers, different ones. Again, they are only paper, but they're quite nice. And then there's lots and lots of journaling cards, so I'll just whiz through, as you can see, just some lovely loads of cut apart i've never seen these in the range before i thought it was really nice these are all just cut well they're actually die cuts they just pop out of the cardboard some sentiments there some floral ones thought this would be really lovely for journaling with and could put them on the front of my cards as well more sentiments more journaling cards count the memories not the calories more sentiments again more sentiments more cut aparts and sentiments and it's just full of cut aparts and die cuts and sentiments which I thought was really lovely and then at the back you've got a couple of tags and there's some more papers that like I said I've never seen these before in the I haven't been to the range for a good few weeks maybe probably a month or so and it's called creative paper collection by craft sensations and this was three pounds the only other things that I picked up were some magazines I ordered from the craft stash website they had a sale on some of their magazines so I've got two back issues the first one was simply cards and paper craft and this is issue 200 and you got the alter new stamp and die set with that one it's i think it's a good i think it's about two months old that one that one was two pound 49 then i got the simply cards and paper craft issue 199 and you got this clearly besotted stamp set and little die matching there again i think this was two pound 49 so they were the two back issues that i bought and i also bought this month's paper craft essentials issue 184 and you got this fresh florals uh, kit you get 12 pattern papers 22 die cuts foil sentiments toppers card blanks and twine so i'm looking forward to having a play with that one and then finally this is probably one of my favorite magazines the creative stamping this is issue number 81 this is this month's and you get this beautiful pink fresh studio stamp set with it so again i'll come on and have a play with this that's it guys that's what i bought while i was away yeah so when my sizzix order arrives i'll come on and share that with you because there's some real good bargains on that website have a look um 80 up to 80 percent off at the moment and i just wanted to spend some of my birthday money on things that i'd enjoy using so that's it then guys that's it for today um like i said i'll be back soon with some more videos just get myself sorted after being away for the week so thank you for stopping by and until next time take care bye